I've suffered from psoriasis for the last two years of my life and this is my story as to how I've gone from being 90% covered with this skin condition to completely clear 100% naturally. I spent the whole of my childhood growing up in Australia and for my whole entire life all I can remember was having completely clear, tanned and golden looking skin. Obviously growing up in Australia meant that I spent pretty much 90% of my time out in the sun. I had such tanned, golden and olive skin literally my whole entire life. When I got to the age of 12, my mum was doing my hair one day and she found some dry red patches at the back of my scalp. These patches I didn't even notice myself because they were obviously completely right at the back. And being so young, I never really took the time to look at the back of my scalp in the mirror, just like any 12 year old girl. So from the ages of 12 to 13, I suffered with some slight dry patches in my scalp. When I got to 14, my family decided to make the huge decision to completely relocate from Australia back to England. Obviously this whole moving process was pretty stressful and I remember my scalp going from just some small patches to being completely covered in redness and dryness from the psoriasis. So obviously as my scalp got worse as I continued to get older, it got to the age about when I was 16 that I was regularly going to the doctors trying to get as many creams, shampoos, literally anything I could find to put on my scalp just to make the flare up calm down. It never really bothered me too much that I had the psoriasis all on the back of my scalp because at the end of the day I could cover it with my hair as long as I didn't tie my hair up I knew that no one would be able to notice it and as long as no one could see it I wasn't bothered by it so obviously fast forward a few more years and I'm now 18 almost 19 and I meet Harry meeting Harry was probably the most unexpected thing that ever happened in my entire life and at this point in meeting Harry I was pretty much psoriasis free I had a few patches on the back of my scalp but literally like not enough to ever even even mention anything to him for some reason it just completely calmed down during this period of my life and I have no idea why so after a year of being with Harry he introduced me to YouTube and the whole entire social media world which led to being offered a opportunity that we couldn't turn down which was to be involved in a content house in London so we are on the way to our new house in London. Our new house, baby. I can't wait. I literally am so excited to see I'm what so it looks excited. like. We haven't seen the house yet and we're driving there now to be the first ones to live in it. Woo! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is insane, bro. to be involved with this content house was genuinely something that we couldn't turn down because we knew how much of an impact it could have on our career. But little did I know how much this whole entire situation would have an impact on my health mentally and physically. So only two months into joining this content house, I started to notice some tiny red patches appearing on the backs of my legs and on my torso. And because I hadn't had any psoriasis on my scalp for the last year, it didn't even occur to me to think that this could be psoriasis on my body. I just had no thought whatsoever of what it could be. So as time went on and we spent longer and longer in this whole entire content house, my skin began to get worse and worse the more stressed and the more mentally drained I became. The whole entire environment of this house was probably the most toxic and negative thing I've ever been involved in in my entire life. With the amount of stress, anxiety and upset this whole entire house and situation caused me my skin progressively became worse and worse over my entire torso legs arms and back and as my skin started to get worse within this environment I obviously started to understand that what I was getting 
was in fact psoriasis on my entire body instead of my scalp. As every single day went on, I noticed a new patch of psoriasis appearing on my body with the more stress that I became. This was definitely by far one of the hardest things I ever had to go through in my life. The whole reason why me and Harry decided to join this house in the first place was to benefit our career and to build up everything that we ever dreamed of. But to be in this position and to be suffering so bad mentally and physically was just the, one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through. Every single day in that house, I had to wake up and put a fake smile on my face and act a certain way for the camera. And I don't even think myself at the time realized how toxic and negative the whole situation was. So from my point of view, it was obvious that the beginning of my psoriasis flare up two years ago now was due to this massive stress from this toxic environment that I was involved in. But it was at this point two years ago that I decided how important it was for me to start sharing this journey online with everybody. So I remember the very first day that I posted my first ever photo which showed some of my patches of my psoriasis and the only reason why I decided to start doing this was genuinely because of Harry and if it wasn't for him helping me and encouraging me to post these photos and videos online I don't know how I would have dealt with doing this career that we do and suffering with such a physical skin condition. When I first met Rosie she was like the happiest girl in the world like she had no stress she had no anxiety she was so carefree free-spirited like there was nothing that worried her and when we moved into this house i noticed that her mental health was just going completely downhill i saw how she used to be versus how she was with her skin condition and I just felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to help her. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything to, to get rid of it. And I just wanted to help her in every single way possible, but I, I didn't know how to. I didn't know what I could do apart from just be there and, and support her like any boyfriend should do. And when you see your girlfriend go from being so happy to then so upset over something that isn't f from you, like it's something that I haven't done, it's the most heartbreaking thing because I, I, can't, I can't fix it. I can't do anything to fix it. And, and help her. And I knew that at the time we were living in that house in London, it was causing her so much stress. It was causing me so much stress. And I remember saying to her like, we just need to get out. We need to go, we need to get our own place. And we just need to leave. Because I knew if, if we didn't leave, her skin would have got worse and worse. Her mental health would have got worse and worse. So the next day we were looking for apartments in Manchester and we found this apartment and we were literally gone within a week. So once me and Harry decided to pack up our things and move out of that house that was causing me that amount of stress, I started to feel so much better. But sadly, my skin was in such a bad state of inflammation that it just couldn't reverse itself at that point. So despite being out of that toxic environment, my skin still continued to get worse and worse and worse every single day. So one day Rosie was upstairs and she, I heard her having a breakdown she was crying her eyes out. I went upstairs and I got my, just got my phone out and I pressed record and I just left it on the side. And uh, I captured her opening up quite a lot. And uh, yeah, this this was the recording. Okay, I promise you, I promise. I'm not, I don't want to, every single day, all I want to do is get filming out the way because every single day, I, any second that I film, it depresses me because of the way I look and because I hate seeing myself. It's not happy. No, I get you. So yeah, so down. I know how hard it is to be like, to look into the future and be like, it's gonna go because you've tried so many things and it hasn't done shit. But like, it is gonna go. You are gonna get rid of it. You know, you are. I feel lucky though when it just gets worse every single day. No, no. You just gotta be strong, you know. I use our work and everything in our life as a massive distraction. That's why I can't just stop and do nothing because the minute I stop and do nothing, everything's just reminded of how it, it's just, I feel worthless and how I don't want to be here sometimes. I know, but the hardest thing about it is you're, you're constantly focusing on the negative and like the hardest thing about anything if you're going through something is to, put, is to focus on the positive, but... But how can I? But every day I... I know, I know. How I look and I hate what I have to eat and I hate everything about it. I know. As soon as this is done, as soon as your skin's healed and you're looking like you haven't got psoriasis anymore, you'll be so, like, strong because you've been through something so tough that, like, it will make you so strong, you know? It's not going to be like this forever, I promise. 
I remember I used to take photos and I would compare them to a photo a month later and it would just be worse. Like, I wanted to take comparison photos to compare if my skin was getting better from month to month. But my comparison photos were just getting worse and worse as every single month went on. It got to the point where my psoriasis had spread so badly over my entire stomach, my back, my legs and my arms that I struggled to even look down and see any of my normal coloured skin anywhere on my body. I didn't want to leave the house, I didn't want to get out of bed, I couldn't physically move because of how painful my skin was. I'd either bend down to tie up my shoelaces or I'd put some clothes on. My skin would burn as if I had acid chucked all over my body. It hurt me to even lay down in bed. I couldn't even wear clothes properly because of how sore my skin was. I'd have to constantly wear oversized t-shirts because any sort of material touching my skin would just cause me like complete agony. So obviously as my skin was at its worst, I was trying absolutely everything I could ever think of to try and get rid of my skin condition. The first main thing that I remember trying was a juice diet followed by avoiding any gluten and any dairy in my diet and completely cutting out every single inflammatory food. I paid nutritionists thousands of pounds to try and help me with my diet. I had some amazing mentors which helped me and still do help me to this day. My mentor helped me from everything to stress management, to try and make me feel better mentally. She introduced me to completely clearing out our apartment to make it as toxic free from literally anything that could be potentially making my skin condition worse. I felt like I had genuinely tried everything that I possibly could and it just felt like the universe didn't want me to feel free again. So we were living in our apartment and we were convinced that her skin condition was going to go, her psoriasis was going to clear and it didn't and it was so heartbreaking because it just kept getting worse and the crazy thing about psoriasis and most skin conditions is if you're stressed, it's gonna amplify your skin condition, it's gonna make it worse. And because she was so stressed of how she looked, she hated her body, it just added to the stress and added to the anxiety, which just made it worse. It was just this constant cycle of like her wanting to get better, but then she'd look at her body and she'd feel stressed and then it would make it worse. It just constantly went round in a circle and we just felt like helpless and Rosie, I don't think I've ever seen someone so depressed and upset in my life and just knowing that like all I can do is sit there and support her and I can't physically get rid of this skin condition was like it just ate me up I just absolutely hated it I just wanted to like take it from her and just put it into my body and just take it away from her or at least just take 50% of it away from her just to make her feel like she's back to her normal self again and the amount of times in that apartment she would she would lock herself in the bathroom, she would cry her eyes out, sometimes just scream and I'd just sit there and I wouldn't know what to do because I just nothing I would say would help her because I can't clear it. Ah, oh, it was so hard. It was so hard. It was just like what do we do? We just felt we just felt lost. We didn't know what to do. So as every single day went on, my skin progressively got worse and worse to the point where I could look down and I genuinely had one tiny patch about the size of a 5p coin on the middle of my belly left where I didn't have any psoriasis. And as my skin got this worse, I was doing everything that I could. I was doing everything my mentor told me to do. I was doing everything that my nutritionist was telling me to do. I was doing journaling. I was trying to every single stress management technique, but nothing would clear my skin. It just kept getting worse and worse every single day. And I genuinely felt so helpless. I didn't know what to do anymore. And this was so mentally draining because how would anyone have the motivation to keep going to do all these hard things to look after themselves when they see no results and every time we'd go to the hospital or the doctors and they prescribe her stuff it would always just be take this take that the stuff they were giving her was all they could give her because they had there isn't a cure for it there isn't a cure for psoriasis and i guess that's why rosie was so driven to like cure it naturally because if she did then it would inspire so many people out there to, to know that they can clear it naturally and you don't need to take all these other things to try and clear it that's that's unhealthy for your body. So Rosie, did. she didn't give up. Like she was determined to get rid of it. And every day she'd be, I think every other day she'd be talking to her nutritionist and like her therapist and stuff, like every single other day. And they'd have hour long phone calls, two hour long phone calls. They would just talk about what could help it, what couldn't help it, what she should try next. Maybe she should do this with her diet. Maybe she should do that with her diet. 
there was so much stuff they spoke about and some days we'd wake up and, and we'd, we'd try and film and stuff like that and Rosie would just burst out crying and I, obviously I wasn't going to pressure her, I wasn't going to say no we need to film because it, it didn't matter. I was like, look, if we don't want to film, don't worry, like, we're not going to film today. And we got to a point where we just felt so stuck and helpless with what to do next. Like, we didn't know what to, what to do because she's tried everything. She tried all the creams, she's tried all the, all the medicines, she's tried all the diets and nothing was working. Some time went on and obviously my skin continued to get worse and worse. I was finally offered UV light therapy and I'd go to the hospital twice a week to stand with some UV lights around me that really helps to reduce psoriasis. So I'm just about to go to my first light therapy session and I wanted to show exactly how my body's looking, like the most raw and natural way to show that is obviously by doing like a spin on camera. So this is how my body's looking before my first light therapy session down my arms and on my chest and my back as well and like my legs are covered too. and this did initially calm my flare down slightly but after a couple of months of having the treatment my flare decided to come back just as bad as it was before and obviously the whole time I was going through every single different treatment method, I was documenting everything online to share with everybody. I had hundreds of people messaging me every single day recommending new things to do for my skin. And I was so overwhelmed by the amount of support and love from every single person that helped me. I just, I still don't have the words for it now. And even though every single day I've struggled to get myself out of bed, and I didn't want to carry on with anything that I was trying for my skin because nothing could work. I shared every single thing and most details online to try and help anybody else that was going through the same thing as me. And I genuinely don't think I'd be half as strong as what I was going through this journey if I didn't spread any of these messages online and if I didn't share the stuff online that I did because being able to speak to so many people that are either going through the same thing or something similar helped me push through every single day to realise that I knew one day I would get to where I wanted to be with how clear my skin was. But making that decision to post everything online was probably one of the best decisions I ever made. And it's so crazy to think back to when I was sat in my bedroom with Harry and he was having to encourage me to post a single Instagram post where I literally had probably three or four patches of psoriasis on my stomach to now where I was completely covered from head to toe in red patches. My story has been published across multiple newspapers online, across the whole entire world. And it's just crazy to think that by posting everything online, not only did it make me stronger and continue with my journey and sharing these messages, it also helped so many people suffering with something similar. And that is kind of the main thing that helped me keep pushing and pushing and pushing every day to try and find something that would clear my skin condition. And out of every single thing that I had tried for my skin, I had one more thing left on my list which could potentially be the thing that helped clear my skin condition. And this was Chinese herbal medicine. I heard so many positive reviews that Chinese herbal medicine was the thing that magically cleared up people's skin conditions and all it was was to take a drink twice a day and it was claimed that it could cure people's skin conditions like psoriasis. And I'm not overreacting when I say I spent thousands of pounds on the Chinese herbal medicine in hope that it would clear my skin because it had got to the point where I was willing to try and spend as much money as I could to try and clear my skin condition. Okay, day two of you trying this Chinese medicine. You ready? Is it that bad? It's horrible. Really? But again, three months later, after spending thousands of pounds on the drinks, having some pretty horrible side effects to what I was consuming, losing some weight as well, my skin still hadn't improved at all and I was pretty much back to square one again. Along my whole entire skin journey, I had the option offered to me several times to start taking medication that was offered to me from the NHS, such as biological injections and different types of drugs that were even used to treat certain types of cancers. From all of my own research, these drugs were all awful for your body and they just suppress your immune system without actually fixing the problem as to where your psoriasis came from. And I just refused every single time someone offered me these drugs, I refused them because I just knew deep down that I would find something 
that helped my psoriasis and I just did not want to give up. So after the last two years of having to wake up every single day and suffering with the worst pain physically and mentally that I've ever been through in my entire life, I can finally sit here and say that I have cleared 100% of my psoriasis naturally. And it feels so crazy to be able to say those words because I've dreamed of being able to say that for the last two years of my life. And the fact that I can sit here now and share this whole entire journey is just incredible. When I was almost at the point of completely giving up and just not trying to do anything to help my skin, I had a random brainwave that I wanted to start looking into the birth control pill and what it was doing to my body. So when Rosie started to get her first patch of psoriasis, I remember saying to her, I have a gut feeling that the reason you have this is because of your pill. It just made so much sense to me. I was like, it's the only thing you're putting in your body that completely changes your hormones and your, the way you are. So it makes sense that that's the reason that's caused you your psoriasis. She was kind of a bit like, uh, I don't know because she's tried apps, she's tried everything. So like she was gonna be negative towards anything because nothing was working. And the pill just made Rosie change and spiral into this negative person who was so stressed all the time. And I, I knew it was I knew it was causing her skin. I knew that it was the main reason behind her skin condition. I just had this feeling, I just knew. I and I just said to her, we need to, you need to come off the pill. You need to come off the pill and let your body be as natural as possible. And let's just see. Let's just see if, if, it, if your psoriasis does clear. And if it doesn't, you can go back on the pill maybe in six months time. But let's just see, like this is our last hope we have for you to clear your psoriasis. And it worked. Now, I had been on the birth control pill for the last seven years of my life. I was put on the birth control pill by my doctor when I was about 15 years old to try and help prevent any horrible period symptoms that I was getting back then. And for the first four to five years of being on the birth control pill, I was completely fine. My periods were regular, I didn't have any severe psoriasis, and my life was just as any normal teenage girl's life should be. But from the moment that my psoriasis patches started coming on my body, and I started going through some of the most stressful times in my life, I noticed that alongside all of those things, I was starting to get some other symptoms which kind of didn't relate to the situation or my skin condition. I had no idea where all of these problems could be coming from until I started doing research into where the birth control pill can affect so many females and it can cause so many different illnesses, diseases, and one of those illnesses that it can cause is psoriasis. I decided to make the decision to completely stop taking birth control and to rebalance all of my hormones naturally and just hope that this was the last thing that I needed to do to rebalance my body back to the level that it needed to be to clear my psoriasis. And exactly one month after stopping the birth control pill and taking a combination of different supplements and vitamins, my skin, is now completely psoriasis free. So to think that stress was one of the main triggers for my psoriasis flare up, but to know that the birth control pill was the thing that probably continued my flare up to get worse and worse and worse, made my mental health completely go downhill. And I just can't believe it was one of the last things that I thought could affect my skin. And the, from the minute I came off birth control, my whole entire mentality has improved beyond words. So not only has the birth control pill made my skin completely clear up but my mental health has gone from being the worst it ever could be to the best that it ever has been. When I did all of my research into how to come off birth control, I found that rebalancing your hormones is one of the most important things to do to get your whole body as a female going back into your normal cycle of your periods and to just be healthy in general. Part of rebalancing your hormones is to take a lot of different types of vitamins and supplements and to help your gut and all of this was linked to psoriasis as well. So before I even came off the pill I spent months and months researching all the different things that I should take and I want to share everything that I did as well as coming off the birth control pill that I just know in my heart has been the reason as to why my psoriasis has cleared naturally. So for one month before I stopped my birth control I started to take vitamin C, vitamin B, zinc, magnesium, 
turmeric, folic acid, cod liver oil and a multi-strain probiotic for my gut. I was taking all of these different supplements for a whole month before I decided to come off my pill and I noticed a huge difference in the way that my energy levels were in this month but once I stopped taking birth control I continued to still take all of these vitamins and supplements once a day and I've linked all of these below so that if you want to take the exact ones that I'm taking they're all linked below in the description. I actually found this supplement online while I was watching other girls reviews on how they came off birth control and how they rebalanced their hormones and not only did they say that this Fem21 product helped them reduce all of their PMS side effects and it helped them gain a natural period back really really quickly so many girls said that this Fem21 drink has helped their acne and their skin in ways that they didn't even know were possible I saw so many girls before and afters of their acne of how their skin looked before they started taking Fem21 and after they started taking Fem21 and I was like well if it can work for people with acne and other skin issues why can't it work for my skin issues so just as a little bit of information fem 21 is a natural hormone rebalancing drink that includes 21 natural ingredients that are all herbal and they're just so amazing to rebalance all of your hormones naturally it completely detoxifies your liver it gives your body everything that you need to have a regular cycle which also helps your energy and your mood and most importantly for me your skin health so I after taking all of my supplements and all of my vitamins and the Fem21 drink for a whole entire month, I got my first natural period back after being on birth control for seven years, which was just crazy to me because I didn't even think to get my natural period back that quickly. I genuinely believe that because I took this Fem21 hormone rebalancing drink, it not only made my period come back naturally, it increased my mood and it completely got my whole hormones and my whole body back to the balance level that it should be that it then helped me get rid of my skin condition as well as coming off the pill so after doing all of these things and taking Fem21 every single day for the last almost three months now I can say that my psoriasis has completely cleared and not only that but my moods are incredible I feel happier than I've ever been before I have no anxiety so that is pretty much my whole entire story from start to finish as to how I got psoriasis all the different things that I've tried that didn't work for me and the things that I tried that have worked for me and I am just overwhelmed with happiness to be able to sit here right now and say that I have cleared my psoriasis completely naturally and I've gone from having 90% of my body covered in this red painful inflammatory disease to now being completely clear and I just want to say a massive thank you for watching this video and to supporting my whole journey to every single one of you that has supported me for the last two years or well, the last six months or the last year thank you so much for supporting my whole journey and giving me love with every single thing that I've posted about my skin condition. Every single one of you who has sent me a lovely message, left a lovely comment, it has helped me get through this crazy tough journey and I will never have enough words to thank every single one of you behind the screen because if it wasn't for all of your support I would have found this whole journey a million times harder than it was and for anyone watching this video that's going through something similar I can promise you my hand on my heart that there is light at the end of that dark tunnel and to not give up because I promise you things will get better but thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video mm.